All right, we're back. There's our disclaimer. So, all right, welcome back to our newest episode of Citizens United. I'm John, Noel. Hi, guys. Robin, everybody's here. Gail, Jerry's somewhere. Um, <laughs> he's here, though. He is here. All right, Kim says hi to us. Hi. Chris, hello, everyone. Stacy waving. Hi. Um, yeah, we're back. Yeah. Um, last week we had Gianna, right? Yeah. So, Daniel, and, um, Please remember her. What is it? I am not a body .org, yeah, yeah. Right? It's amazing for somebody her age to come out and write what she did. Yeah. Like, wow. No, it was really amazing. And yeah. the fact that, and that's why I feel good about that. Um, the GoFundMe yeah. that she's put out there. And um, because she's, she doesn't need a lot. Right. It's, it's like 800 bucks or something, yeah. but she's trying to do something. Mm -hmm. She's trying to help others too. And it appears she's on, she's on her own too, you know? And um, I don't know. I, I just was so impressed with her demeanor, I guess, or whatever, how she spoke yeah, was unreal. Very, very mature. Yeah. I'm like, uh, and I just wonder, um, oh, there you go. Got some nice stuff. To say. Oh, thank you, my God. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, and she over, she was really something I gotta say, yeah. I, I don't know. It was something that stuck with me because for her to go through what she went through and to be able to be that way, yeah. was pretty, uh, Pretty impressive. Yeah, you just don't see that that much somebody her age, that much yeah. maturity, and it's crazy. She she, yeah, processing it like that. But I told her to reach out. Yeah, you know, because I'm sure there's going to be times because she's alone. She said, living uh, yeah. by herself. So. Always. Yeah, she is. Oh, hey, my problem. Uh, yeah, she's down there in Florida. Huh? I don't know. Anyways, uh, what else is going on? Thanksgiving. How was it? It was good. How was yours? It was good. It yeah. was quiet. We do things weird now, which is fine. We do brunches at our daughter's house. That's, that's and fun. then after brunch is done, we just you can we, get rid of the we go home. <laughs> and we don't even we go to them. They don't even come to us anymore. So it's <laughs> even <laughs> you really want to come to my house? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so we were doing the thing for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. That's and we do the same thing for Christmas. We go a little bit earlier though, yeah. Because the kids and their gifts and stuff. But yours quiet, calm, or no? No, no. I heard. Yeah, 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 you guys had a wild night. <laughs> Anytime yeah. they're anywhere with their cousins, they're just like burst of energy, yeah. psycho. Now, are you guys making Italian stuff at all? What? Thanksgiving? Do you get no, right? No. We didn't either. No, no. We do turkey and ham, and that's it, right? Yeah. Christmas. Is there anything? Yeah, yeah, we lasagna, to, some kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, my husband likes the lasagna. Mm. We might make the um vinyasa this year. Oh, oh, those are good. I made them. Remember, I made them yeah. for you. You never had them before. Mm. I made them the other day. Yeah. Now, how do you? We used uh, this way. My grandmother had it. It was Italian sausage and onion. Yeah. In the one with, and then we but mm. we do Italian sausage, onion, and then we put um mozzarella we put that provolone cheese oh my in god it, yeah and um pepperoni oh wow oh, we'll yeah. roll it all up in homemade dough Ooh, jeez um, yeah because <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah grandma made it with italian sausage and um onions and then she'd make one with italian sausage and just like black olives we tried it we did some stuff remember robin yeah i made it once and then i tried to make a taco one for some reason and oh, no, really? that was okay. Yeah, we did it. But I do like the lines. I, I did. They're I good. From my mother, my grandmother's you know, recipe. Right. That's how it is. I make my own sausage. You know, I mm -hmm. make sausage and I flavor it. Flavor it. Fennel. fennel. Oh stuff. my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Rob. <laughs> we got to try. Yeah, I got to save it because that's that'll be. Yeah. That was great. I still now I want that. it. Yeah, I know, me too. I, I didn't know how many other people were doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah I, when yeah. you just brought it up, I was like, oh, that's uh, that's great. Yeah. Because the onions got to be like caramelized and fried. Yeah, do that yeah. first. And then um, after I do the onions, then I throw the sausage in that pan. I try to take the onions out. And it's <laughs> right. still flavored. Oh, oh it's so oh, good. Yeah. This is a cooking so show. Let's make that yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my God. And I you know, could, can somebody feed me? The thing with the provolone perfect. in it, though, is unbelievable. Yeah. That sounds. It, that really does make it. Wow. You know, the mozzarella sticks it together, but the provolone gives it that taste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't like provolone, though. See, this. I don't, like I don't either. Yeah. I won't eat it. Right. Eat it, but I like it in there. Thank you, Scott. Okay, I'll have to try it. Yeah. Scott says best part of Monday. Do I eat it with it? Chris, I know. <laughs> she ate. I think I ate, I think I ate, I I ate those cookies. They were great, Chris. I remember last time. <laughs> yeah, we got to make it. Uh, you, you won't eat provolone. You won't eat any cheese. The only type of cheese I'll you eat is mozzarella. Cheese. 
What do you mean her cheese? It's from the store. <laughs> She's not making the cheese. I'll know the way Gail does it. I'll make you all a right. small one. Dave's <laughs> hungry now. Hi, Dave. Um, all right. So that was really nice. I, I can't wait. I don't know. We didn't make it. It's weird, though, because we, we do the... Um, I always make, like, uh, for... And I got to think of something different. These brunches, I always make... I get eggs, um, Italian sausage, spinach, and red peppers, and I throw like an egg kind of frittata thing. Yeah, got to think something different though. I'd make it every year. I got to do something different. I make it. Well, I made a frittata not too long ago, but I did it with um, potatoes, onions, and ham. Oh Ooh, boy, it yeah. It a nice big frittata. Someday we got to come over here. and We're not doing a show. We we'll have to come by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to so bad. Remember, yeah, we were going to yeah, do where I was supposed so to hard. go Taste, to restaurants. Yeah, and... we have Robin and I'm going to take some edibles and do a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That ain't you know, a bad idea. Last year, hey, Bill. Last year, I made those chocolate cookies. Mm -hmm. First time I ever made them because my mother always did. I helped her and my grandmother. Right. Mm -hmm. So last year, because my husband was you know, ragging on me about not making cookies, I made the chocolate ones. They were the best. They were, oh. they were delicious. So Those, they weren't hard. No, they're good. The whole thing, I can't take it. That is so good. We gotta I love do, Christmas cookies. We got to do something oh, God, um, Italian this year for our dinner. Yes. I didn't do anything last year, but I don't know. I want ham, thing. though. <laughs> what? With the Italian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm going to get my ham once a year. All right. Let's see what Bill says. Noel, do not stop your message on Nick and his sister. I love it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they're trying to stop me, though. Well, oh, they yeah. really are. They're. They got my account taken down on TikTok, but I don't know what they don't understand. Like they could keep trying to take everything of mine down. I'll just make another one up and keep doing it. Yeah. Like, and I have a people yeah, that follow me. Again, people like found my Twitter and now they're yeah. following me again. Like I'll just continue to do it. So Nick, Nick really doesn't want the Niagara Action page um, exposed. He doesn't exposed. want that exposed. So that's what I'm going to expose. Nick hey. D'Angelo Holmes and runs the Niagara Action page. Have you noticed? Um... That page is like a sports page now. It's yeah. all like sports stuff. That's it. All they're putting Buffalo up is Bills Buffalo nonsense. Bills. Yeah. It's weird. And the best is this, though, real quick. I got to put it up here real fast. And it's disgusting, but it's unbelievable. The description. Did you yeah. ever read how he's trying to take care of keeping the community informed oh, yeah. and secure and safe? Oh, mm -hmm. my God. And and yeah. Close. And cl yeah, yeah. Disgusting. that word for some reason that word stuck out to me in that description. Yeah, like, almost disgusting. like he was keeping everyone cl like yeah. keeping an eye on everyone. You know, it's, he has keeping an eye on mm -hmm. everyone. He's, he's really doing it, and people are letting him do it. Yeah, you don't. You are really crazy. doing it, people. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's even crazier is that he just got once again caught stealing information from another page, somebody else's page. Who put yeah. the news out there? And so he took their status and pasted it onto his and mm -hmm. tried to. I don't even think he tried changing the wording of it. I think no, he just he did because he, he doesn't. Copy it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he should be sharing instead. He's yeah. just stealing. Yeah, he's stealing. So they caught him on it and he had to take it down. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. another one. I think it was about like the winter storm or something like that. Yeah. What the? You know, he's such an idiot. Yeah, I don't know why he's continuing that. I'm curious as to why he keeps keeps us going. Yeah, right I, would, now, I would because... like to maybe if I ever did go to a city council meeting, which is pointless. Maybe I would like to talk to them and ask them what they think and what, well, why they think it's okay for a predator, yeah. a serial rapist right. to run our local news. Yes. What the hell is wrong with that? <laughs> like, they'll, pro they'll probably be like, oh, out. yeah, maybe you should talk to them there. You'll get yeah, yeah, maybe you yeah. should write those things. He has nothing to do with it. Yeah. You can't control it. They all know what's happening, too. That's the problem. Is they mm -hmm. know what's happening. They're, They're still following, following it. it. Yeah. Katie's yeah. here. Hi, Katie. Uh, hey, hey. Scott said, we got to get Katie on. Yeah. Scott says, I heard the Niagara Action is mentioned on his new color posters. <laughs> Again, that oh, burglar. He, has, he yeah. has to be so happy, though, that the color. Yeah. yeah. It could be green and red for this the season. Yeah. Oh, really? He's a smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah smart there, you there you go. And there's Katie. Um, so I was telling you before the show, I had a daydream. Yeah. Um. I was talking to one of our guests that were here before uh, Vernon and, and he, uh, he might be out here watching and he sent me messages. He was talking about stuff and all of a sudden, and this is something you guys already knew maybe, but I want to ask you out here before I tell you my daydream, what's wrong with the, like, I don't know how to put it. You know, the, the, obviously you got the two political parties, right? right. And um, we call them losers, which they are, they're failures. They're the big, but they're a big demo. They're a big um, organization. Oh, they are. There's ton people making oh, tons of money. Yeah. 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 And, um, but 
in my mind, all of a sudden, I always go after them or not go after them. I just say, it, you know, what I think. And it's, it's not them, right? you know, and I don't know what you guys out there think, but it's, it's us. It's yeah. me. It's the people who vote. That's true. Mm -hmm. Think about, I was thinking about, and then I started thinking about people that keep getting reelected and, um, and you know what they did. Oh, yeah. You know what? You know what decisions they made. And I'm not saying what they did, like that they. What I'm saying in there, if they were a judge or whatever, they made a decision that affected everyone. Yep. And it don't matter. They just no. keep winning. Yeah, it's like they just people look at the last name and don't give a shit. Yeah, we got a problem. So Big problem. People and they, paying attention. And that's why those two terrible organizations don't care. No. Like they really don't no, care. No, they don't care. That's why when I bitched about that stupid thing that Niagara County Democrats or whatever they were did outside of City Hall about speaking in the in the, in the council meetings. Yeah. That's why that's to me that's such a waste. Yeah. Because that's so minor and stupid and like, but that's what they want you doing. Yeah. Like, well, just like what the Janelle Faso thing. She had her stupid little nephew, whoever the hell he was, Clayton, message Joseph Clayton, message one of us saying I. You know, she's got this in the bag. I bet you ten grand. Oh, yeah. She's gonna be a judge. Like so, they already knew that she was gonna do it. You know, you had to commit campaign fraud to do it, but still. Yeah. No, that's how things work in Niagara County. That's how people are elected. I'm convinced I'm, is through all this fraud yeah. and bullshit. I'm starting and to wonder know, though if it's not a, a lot more than just us because how do people continually? Register as a Democrat, register as a Republican, know damn well what's been done in the past. And just don't go independent. Just don't say, I'm not registering either. And then obviously you're going to vote. You got to vote because you only get your choice or you write someone in or you do whatever you do. But you just don't stop. Right. You don't stop it. You never stop it. You never put an end to this this stuff. I mean, you just, I know that's what, I, that's what came to my mind. Like, it's me. It's the voter. Yeah. The voters are terrible. Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. They, they just show up. Yeah, when they show the ones that show up are terrible. Though they might, I wish they'd stay home because they keep on. Look at we've got a judge here, that an ex judge who was the one who let D'Angelo off. Mm -hmm. And what do we do? We send him to the yeah. assembly. Yeah. So that's his, that's his reward. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then when and everyone then keep electing, and him. then when everyone knows and it finally dawns on, it just still doesn't matter. Because you know, now he is who he is, and he's done too many favors. Yeah. We, yeah, we got an ex-judge. Well, that's the thing is I feel like, too, a lot of these people are doing this because they've been given favors by these people. That's mm -hmm. the only reason. These people reason. have been giving them mm -hmm. favors, and instead of saying, like, um, okay, yeah, he might have done me a favor, but you're not the right person for this job. No, they just saw, well, they gave me, they did me a favor, so yeah. I guess I'll just be favor. What should have happened, happened with a Judge Clock, when he walked out, the media should have been so up in arms and on top of this important story that he should have been in front of the camera and they're asking him, why did you let this guy go? And you put some pressure on him, but nothing, like you're saying. They nothing were all happened. hiding in the courthouse. Nothing, nothing happens. Happened. They were being protected in the courthouse. And then most of the people Nick don't even hear the story. Stupid, stupid, ugly sister, Brittany, um, and the mother driving around the place, like looking and like calling him, letting him know that we were still outside. So somebody like Carolyn Matasco or whatever could yeah. you know, keep him inside her little courtroom until we were all gone. But we're a problem. We're a we're a big problem. Oh, look who's here, John's here. Hey. Um, we are a big, big problem though. We the voters are terrible. We're just yeah. we don't you're right. I mean, that's definitely what it is. It's because and it could go back decades. Yeah. It could have yeah. been in the 80s when this guy helped you with yeah. whatever he helped yeah, you okay. with. It could have and, like it's but then could have somebody shoe one. And now. then could but could have let a rapist free. Yeah. And and be, by doing that, you have caused a whole trail of damage. Yep, and you won't acknowledge it, but we are then going to elect you and send you send you this state government, whatever government. Mm -hmm. How the hell do we do that, <laughs> Scott? I'm going to hire Nick to change my last name to Fossil. So <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Your dream yeah. Your dream and it says discussing politics in your dream is considered a sign of success. Providing the conversation is with someone of your own sex. So you talk with Vernon. Oh, another male, right? And and then that happened. And that means that it's a um, it's considered a sign of success for you. Oh, perfect! Way to go! Mm. You know? So mm. I yeah. think your show is a success. We are a success here. And yes, that kind of just 
Oh, that's nice. Right Thank right you. Oh, that's cool. Then see, I, I told you, I keep telling him I want you to do a reading. For me. You can do it whenever you want. I just sit here, right? I don't got to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll answer. I'll do it whenever. I'm good. Well, my mom does reading. She does like a reading. So anybody ever wants wow, reading? Political reading. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that was my dream, and I and it was only because I always, always, you can see it on my Facebook where I call them the two, you know, the parties are just terrible. Yeah, the thing that people don't realize too is that the um, the parties are huge, like they're big organizations. They're not like what you think they are. There are people making a ton of money that are in the the Republican or the National. Look <laughs> down when they grow. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, let's see. <laughs> if Scott wins and becomes mayor as a fossil, then we can hire Nick's sister. To <laughs> well, that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let's see what Bill's saying. I was down in my hometown yesterday. He shared Noel's messages about Nick and his sister. They were appalled at the BS that is going on in this city and courts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's amazing when you actually when you actually get someone to listen. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, anybody who's listened yeah. so far has been like, "Are you kidding me?" Like, you know what gets me mad though? And you kind of said about this on online the other day. They listen, but they do nothing. Right. Like they might be outraged, oh, but then it's gone. Yeah. The minute they walk away or right. they shut off the computer, yeah. no more outrage. And God. like you said, how many people are privately sending you? messages of outrage but oh, aren't yeah. even sharing a post oh, or yeah. so you know are still following the Niagara action so or nice. are still voting for the yeah. idiots because they got the a favor we done. know what the mayor did right okay fine and now he's the mayor so we, we gave him that but now everyone's mad no one seems to be happy with what's going on with him and all that he's gonna win again so easily it oh, wouldn't yeah. be funny there <laughs> might not even be a, an opponent right. oh so yeah. What the hell are we doing? Neither one of those organizations are going to go against. No. Them. Well, no. He was at a Second Amendment rally. Think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. He's yeah. a, he's a he Democrat. He would have gone if it bounced off his head. Right. <laughs> and he's at a Second Amendment rally. <laughs> bitch. But but think about it. No, but, but think about it. He would. He's there, right? <laughs> with with I got the thing there, but I can't even put my disclaimer up for you. And we'll have, um, like you have him with obviously friendly with Henry with Hazak, who's a big who's a GOP guy, big Republican guy, but then being yeah. called Bobby by the Democrat <laughs> governor. Yeah. So he's got all the bases covered. I mean, it's over. Yeah. It's all done. I don't know, guys. But that was my dream. It, 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 it's it's bullshit. It really is. I'm successful. successful. No, you all know you said we had a good show. Yeah, we Gianna's did. show last week got 2,000 some odd people yeah. to watch it. Um, that's great. No, yeah. Um, that's why they're trying to mess with you and take you off. Stop keep sending me a message. It, the last name of the person is um, uh, it's a uh, Beecham, and it's like Patrick something Beecham, and they must have requested me to be a friend a thousand times on Facebook, yeah. and they have no, they there's just a fake. It's just an account with nothing, and maybe. But then when I look into it, there's four friends, and there are four people from Niagara Falls. Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know who this is. Anybody on there, and yet. then someone named Duncan something, Dan Duncan. It's over and over. These two accounts just keep on, and I keep deleting them, and I keep yeah, deleting them. Yeah, keep doing it. Okay. Yeah, so it's weird. Know. Yeah, it strange. Yeah, it was, oh, just like you know, Nick DMs was trying to get all my stuff taken down and not see that. And he he made a new fake account. There's a new one. Is on, there? Yeah, on YouTube. He decided to tell the whole. It's Nick, hundred percent. But him and his fake accounts. I wish Joanna Smith would come back. I know. Yeah. That was she a, had a lot of good information. She really did. That yeah. was the best thing he's done yeah. as far as any kind of giving information to the yeah. public. Yeah, no wonder why this is taking so long. Look how much information he has. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot. Can you imagine what else he has that he hasn't Well, yet? yeah, remember what the stuff that happened to Dominic. We knew three months yep. before it happened to Dominic. Yep. You he know what showed though? it to me. He actually videotaped it and showed me. Like what he was doing on the computer as he was doing it. Yep. It was well, insane. We have everything all backwards because we're using the worst crimes. The, the, we're taking the worst crimes and pushing those aside yeah. to for stupid shit. Yeah. The white collar bullshit crimes. Right. That, right. That really. Mean, meanwhile, this 
this guy's out there victimizing people, raping people, terrorizing them, bribing them, changing the news in the city. I mean, it, yeah. and and everybody just looks the other way. It's more than complacency, too. It's not just complacency. It's right. in cahoots. It's corruption. Yeah. I just don't know why I can't get people to stop sharing it. I know. It's really annoying that they won't stop. Just shut it down. It's I mean, like, we could shut it down. You could end it. Yeah. You just stop. Right. Mm-hmm. And no one will stop. And it's crazy. He pays $8 a month to keep his little blue check mark on his Twitter. $8 a month. To be verified. <laughs> can't wait to talk to my lawyer. Yeah, right. Well, anyways. So that was my dream. It's 20 after, 21 after 6. We got some stuff to go over. Yes. Um, an incredible video that you found from um, some lady who works at Planned Parenthood in Indiana. It's really disturbing. Oh, there it is. It's, a, it's a real disturbing. And then we got more stuff. I got a GoFundMe I want to share to, with everyone. Why don't we take our break now? So when we come back, we have more than enough time to just uh, go over everything. By the way, really quick, if you support the little bakery, just let you know, you support Dick D'Angelo. Bingo. Yeah. Yes. Just saying, well, I'm sick of everybody. Not everybody, but I'm sick of people thinking that the little bakery is like clean. Jesus and, yeah, yeah, they're they're disgusting people who put on a fake smile and pretend to be these great people, but they were trying to help Nick D'Angelo give him information and help a, a predator. I mean, I have proof and information of it. So if you support the little bakery, please do not just don't talk to me. That's all I'm saying. And that's like, and then, and then you think about the, what, what happened? Oh yeah. Then think about Set the, up a whole entire go fund. Yeah. Disgusting. Please let's take our break. We'll be back in a moment. Digits nine, eight, eight can save a life. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides connection to free confidential support. There is hope. The lifeline works. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. We're back. Welcome back. Thank you to our sponsors and happy birthday to Burdett. Yes, oh, happy birthday, birthday, birthday. Who is a happy great birthday. sponsor of ours. <laughs> happy and, um, birthday, Burdett. We really appreciate him. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. All right, I got to read this one. And at Chris Smith, if you're out there, please elaborate on this. Um, I'll read it for those that can't see it. I, I mean, I don't know. Re- Republicans wanna 
eliminate the Hebrews in Democratic Party. And, Demo and Democratic Party wants to eliminate slower, but keep stuck making the imposter Hebrews imposter. Jay wish people wealthy. Downtown Niagara Falls is a perfect example of this. Please elaborate on that if you're out there. I'd love to understand what that what you're saying there. I think I understand, but I want to hear more. I do want more. I want more of. Tell me what you're what you're saying, please. You're right. <laughs> scavenger hunt for the gift cards, so Nick can be in the area for more, more bacon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Little bakery helps them there. Yeah. I mean, they, the little bakery helps Nick make more victims, and you can disagree with me all you want, but facts are facts. Proof is proof. Evidence is evidence. Little bakery is trash. With and it doesn't matter if they give out a pie. Yeah, that doesn't make it okay that they help a rapist. Yeah, right. Like, literally, they make bread and give it out to people. They, they they're a bakery for God's yeah. sake. What else are they going to do? They complaining about? Weren't no. they just complaining about, about flour? Yeah, about flour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did they up their prices? No, yeah. we were hoping. Yeah, how are they able to get, go fund? But how are they able to give stuff away? Like that's crazy. They These, in this day and age, yeah, yeah, they get yeah. a force of how are they giving away so much stuff? It's just. Uh, let's see. Yes, we know about. The, I know about the Adult Victims Act that is around the yeah. or that it's kind of like the Child Victims Act. You know, get in on it quick because we don't have an appetite for it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Adult Survivors Act. I just, um, yeah, I, I I don't even know what to say about that. I, I'm glad it's there. That's cool, and I hope. Um, I'm at the point though where we got to start doing those statute stuff. Yeah, like really get involved in trying to change them. I know, I don't know, Rob Ort, I, I put out some stuff about him because he's sit talking like he cares. He don't oh, care. Oh, he loves to go on, I, on Facebook and yeah. post like he gives a shit. He probably has somebody doing it for him, posting. I asked him doing. for help because I wanted to change statute limitations. He won't return our emails. I, I, I've hit that office twice with messages and, you know, really well thought out yeah. questions. For, I said, all I want is a response, a yes or no. You don't have to, nothing from his... Nothing. F nothing. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. I just can't take. I don't understand. I, I wanted to. Do, we've got to do it. I don't know how, but it's coming. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm hoping once we put D'Angelo away, hopefully, then maybe we can really. Yeah. We can start, start a petition. Get one go now. I could, yeah, we should yeah. start that here in New York State. Yeah. To to try to change statute of limitations. You have to say something on Rob Ort's Facebook page yeah. again and get his attention. Because why wouldn't you? I don't understand. Like when I asked the guy who was running Meridian against Marinello, his answer was okay, but I don't understand. It, like I would, if someone comes to me and says, hey, are you in favor of changing statute of limitations on rape? Yes. Right. Quickly. Uh, yeah. That's yes, true. absolutely. Yes, I got no problem. Yes, I, I do. And then the next thing we will, how do, and then my aunt, my, if they would say that, then my thing, what do I do to try that? What do I do to help? But I can't even get that far. No, you can't. Because no one will say it. Uh, you need to get Nick Walenda statue <laughs> photo up or, oh. or to show up. <laughs> yeah, the love of Nick Walenda here is sick. Oh, my yeah. God. I don't get that <laughs> at all. Because he's done nothing. He did Literally, nothing. He walks us. across. He walked across and ended in Canada. Right. That's where everything was in Canada. He didn't do nothing for this place. No, he didn't. He did that. nothing. He never built what he was going to build. He never did anything. I think it's like the mayor just like seeing like celebrities or mm -hmm. whatever they like. So he uses his key to the city to meet them. The only good that go, came was the splash of the falls itself. To see the falls and all the people watching. Yeah. That was the only benefit you got, really. I mean, not, like you're saying, mm -hmm. nothing yeah. else was done about that. Yeah, not enough for me for to give, make a statue of it. Yeah, no. You know, to, to honor God, him. if you're gonna make a statue for him, <laughs> you know, a lot of people you can make a statue <laughs> for. Yeah. Anyway, right. Well, that's probably coming. I'm yeah. sure. That, I mean, I don't know. So, why don't we run that video real fast? Yes. I got to show you guys this, and if you can't, there's subtitles, um, but you should be able to understand. The girl who talks near it a little bit, but just listen. I think this, this girl is 13, 13 in the video that she's talking to. She's 13. Yeah. Here we go. About two minutes. Who are you? I'm 13. Okay. In the state of Indiana, you have to have a parent's signature to get an abortion. And I would want to know who, who was the stepfather mm -hmm. and everything, and I can't tell. I wouldn't want to tell me about all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Because, I mean, really, you would be in really big trouble. Right. Because I don't want to know how old he is. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? I don't want to know how old he is. Okay. I'm in 
because in the state of Indiana, anyone 13 years and younger um, that has to be um, a report done to CPS, you know. But he's not, he's not, as well, I mean, he might be um, doesn't matter. a lot older, but he doesn't act a lot older, you know. It's and I act a lot older than I am, so it works out because yeah. he might be 31 now. He's older, but he's not, he's not, um, he's not, like, older, but he's, he's, I don't know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but he's not like that, he's not like weird. Yeah, he's not weird. In the state of Indiana, mm -hmm. when anyone has had intercourse, and they're age 13, and younger. I'm, I'm turning almost 14. It doesn't matter. Okay. You're 13. Okay. It has to be reported to Child Protective Services. Okay. I didn't hear the age. I don't want to know the age. Okay. Good. It could be reported as rape. Oh, okay. And that's child abuse. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So if I just say... I don't know who the father was, but he's one of the guys at school or something. Right. Okay. Just, you know, you've seen him around, you know, he's 14, he's in your grade and whatever. Oh, so, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so that's that problem. So there you go. So the person was 31, and the woman there, the adult in the room at Planned Parenthood, who she went to talk to, says, let's pretend he's 14. Yeah, we don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. So then that 31-year-old who's raping that girl, now how many more yeah. girls are going to be hurt? Yes. That's the thing I always think of. It's the trail after it. And when you had the chance. Just, and that woman just didn't, she just did, it's so, like she didn't want to do the work. She didn't want yeah. to do the She did, what is it with that? So that's the thing with police and everything too. They don't want to do the work. They don't yeah. want to do the report. That's the thing. That is definitely the deal. That's what. How hard is though the report that, they, that these people don't want to do it? makes no sense. It makes none. I remember Robin's report was taken. DA just said, no. We knew it was hit all the right criteria, but that's laziness. They sure, don't want to do it. Do you're just lazy and you don't want to. And she was not, that was even more, that was that unbelievable. Was, yeah. Because she didn't even, she, she said, I have to call Child Protection Services and she didn't. No. Nope. She said all of what she's supposed to do and she wouldn't. Yeah. And she, I don't even know what to say, but that, but I guess that's a good example of how no one cares. Right. You mm -hmm. know, how right. that's really, that's a shake it off. You just tell that, it's like she got hit by a pitch in a baseball game. You just tell, shake it off. Shake You'll it. be fine. You know, yeah. that right. happened. All right. Get out of here. You know, yeah. That's, that's weird. But how much of that is being, and that's why I can't stand when people are like, well, you know, they're not on a sex offender registry. Well, they're not on a sex offender registry. It's because look at, they're being, allowed to just walk around and get away with what they're doing because people don't want to do reports. Yeah, they got away with um, it. Now, right. since this is out there, obviously, I wonder if that that um, lady got in any kind of trouble. I know. Yeah, that's what yeah. Tony's asking. Was she charged? Uh, Under this video? Occurred. We don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, don't know. It popped up on my, no data I didn't see it. No. It popped up on my phone. I could probably have looked. I probably yeah. should have looked it up to see the, um, the result. I, I don't know. I mean... I just, I get the whole thing is though, man, we talk about here a lot that no one really gives it. It just right. doesn't really hit home. No. It doesn't. I don't know how. I don't know how as an adult you're sitting there and you're in a 13 year old and you can hear her. She's all 13 yeah. by the way she's talking and it doesn't do anything to you. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. If that doesn't get That's you upset. That's what people do though here too. But mm -hmm. pretend they yes. don't hear about or they hear about, oh, okay, I just brush it off. Yeah. And she's a mandated reporter. Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and she is, yeah. It's, it's not even, look how hard it is just to get the news out about your mm -hmm. situation. Um, it's not even brought to light, these things. It's amazing. That, that that should be like on the top of the news, you know? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the most important. Yeah, that's important sure. news right there. Yeah. Not who Trump ate dinner with. Yeah. The, that's what's important. What we just saw right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know, but everyone doesn't care. They don't care. Adults don't care. Not all of you, but. Unfortunately, I mean, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have kids. That's, you have some people like kids that's escaping drugs. They have their telethon and they got all. The, this is just as important, if not more so. Yeah. I mean, oh. the, the abuse of children. How many more children... has she left? How many no. more kids have went to that same woman 
and told them her important yeah. information like that. And she did the same thing. Same. Too. Yeah. yeah. And the guy who's 31 years old now will have so many. Dick. Yeah. He's oh, already yeah. got a ton. And I'm sure now he's just able to, oh, yeah. to just continue on. I mean, it's, it's, we know they can't be, they can't be, they can't be rehabilitated. Right. Not that I know. No. They can't Sex be. offenders. They yeah. Say no. No. They can't be. David says the video just made me sick. That woman should be charged with something. Yeah. yeah, that woman should be charged with something. And you know what? There's people that I know that should be charged with mm -hmm. something that have just allowed things to happen. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you right now, man, some of, of the people that should, should be charged, be charged ooh, I'd be pulling them out of retirement and charging yeah. their ass. Yeah. That, they makes people, that video, which yeah. just makes people mad, can you imagine what if everybody knew what people in the city were doing? Like the people, yeah. I mean, they, they all need to be charged. And the people yeah. who know what's going on with these people and don't speak out or don't help the police when they're at, people are asking for information, they're holding back. There has to be a, a consequence. Also, it goes on forever. Yeah, yeah, there really should be a consequence. And this um, crime is probably, out of all of them, right? I mean, this is the most quiet in the shadows yeah. type crime I've ever seen. You've ever seen. Oh, absolutely. Now we did again. I mean, we talked about this before, and it's not even really funny. It's kind of sick. It has been normalized. Yeah. I don't know. I was just listening to an old song, and it was who's it by the police? Police. And that's a that. Oh. And they're actually blaming the girl for the young girl, the high school girl, for going for having wanting to have sex with the teacher. Mm -hmm. Stand so yeah, yeah, but think about that. That's a song yeah. that I heard a million times in my life yeah. as a kid. Yeah, and you never thought. It didn't, but it was in my no. Yeah, yeah. but it was in my head, psyche. It was in my head, and I. No one cares. I really think when you listen to that lady, when a child gets raped like they do, I think there's people out there like her that just say shake it off. Yeah, yeah. Sure. They definitely do to adults. I know that yeah. they tell adults all the time shake it oh, off. I'm like sure it. they. I know. I know for fact there's people who do that to kids. I know that for fact. Yeah. And it's just sick, and we got to do something about it. And um, start by making an example. Didn't of her. Janelle's campaign manager equated to going through a divorce? Yes, she did. Right on the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah and she said that. She said get, she told get it off your couch. She I said to go that. serve some people stuff. Yeah, we uh, have go, to her, the, yes. go to the uh, food bank. Yeah, right. right. And she's a, and she's a one of the daycare. most moronic things I've ever heard in my life. That was Honestly. unbelievable. Yeah, what, she, what a moron! It was unbelievable. How could she possibly get in front of a camera and say that? She <laughs> runs a daycare. So she said, there you go. It's just like being there divorced. You, go. mm -hmm. you got to pick mm -hmm. yourself up and go. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. Not yeah, shake it off. Yeah. Dominic says, if you know and hide or cover stuff up over this stuff, they should be charged with accessory after the fact. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, um, well, look what's going to happen here with... Um, and it's not just Niagara Falls School District. It's all school districts. I was yeah. looking at that. There's oh, yeah. a ton all across the country. This didn't the just... The principal just got nailed. Yes. You Where was that? that at? It was in Rochester? Way? Yeah, that it, way? Towards, uh, yeah it wasn't far from there. Was it at Lockport? Was it? No. I think no. It was in, I think, why do I feel Rochester. like Rochester way? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I, I'm just saying, though, when you look at it, Again, it's not just, I guess my whole thing is I hate when, I don't want anyone to think it's just here. Right. Because it's no. anywhere you go. I could pack up and leave Niagara County and go down to Florida. Listen to the stories. Listen yeah. to Gianna. She's in Florida. Yeah, Same here. thing's happening. Yeah. Out yeah. everywhere. Yeah. The St. in Niagara County issue, this is a, well, it's worldwide, but it's certainly our whole entire worry about our country. That movie so. we watched last night about the woman who was trying to get her kids back from Greece. Mm -hmm. And there was a true story when she went to Greece. It's such a male dominated society that women in court, they're almost like, it doesn't even matter what you present. They just basically fluff it off and give the chill kids to the guy almost automatically. Wow. Even though the woman was beaten and raped and then by the husband, it didn't matter. They understood. Yes, yes, we understand. Child custody goes to the husband. Wow. <laughs> well, Doesn't it's... the word rape, though, just like give you, it should, as a guy, as a man, it should give you just a, a feeling of if you're a anger. Man. Like, if you're a, yeah, if, if you're, you're a, a right. man, right. You should if you're have... a man, you'll get that anger. If you're a piece of shit, yeah. you're not going to get that. Because then you be, you're a man and you go on, let's say you have kids. Oh my God. Yeah. Now you got your daughter. Now you got your son. Now you got whatever. And if that, all right, if that doesn't get you, right? And I don't know, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It don't get it. It does not get enough to make get the attention right. it deserves. Because um, certainly 
the protesting of things like this. I mean, it was one time. Right. It was that woman's, what was it, back in 2016? Whatever year it was when they had the Million Women March. Remember that? Oh, yeah, the Me Too, Me Too movement, movement yeah. which unfortunately ends up getting, like everything, gets ruined by politics and money. Yeah, yeah right. Um, but it was great for those couple days it happened because it made it, it. I think it did change some minds. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. you need more of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. You really do. It did change minds. It helped you. It helped a lot of people yeah. get it because, I don't know, it was anti. That's when I realized what happened, what happened to me. Yeah. Was yeah. that movement mm -hmm. that ends up getting co-opted and becomes a piece of, but, you know, yeah. that, I hate to say that, but it ends up being what it didn't start out. Right. You know, it becomes a political tool. That's all. And they, yeah. they use it yeah, like that, do. of course. Um, but I don't know. I, I just, I, when I listened to that for the first time, I listened because, you know, twice, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was hearing, mm -hmm. but it's everything we know. Yep. So. It's sick. It is. It's it sick. really is. It, Parents too should really understand that that you gotta understand know what's going on with your kids. Mm -hmm. You really do. Yeah, internet, school. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if the parents like the ever saw that video and real, recognized it as their daughter. I know. I know. Can you imagine? I'd love to. Yeah, the backstory has got to be in, yeah, incredible. Okay. And then I wonder how they got the video. I don't know who planted oh, the video. Yeah. I will say this: the girl yeah, that, they know that she was doing that to somebody else, so they went in and right. You know, I, I know that was that was nuts, and it's. Can you imagine if you had that in some of these, like, principal offices? Yeah. Different places. Oh my God, the stuff you'd hear. Oh, and, yeah. and, oh, because when I hear a lawyer tell me they don't want the Child Victims Act anymore, you know you're fought. You're yeah. you're screwed. Mm -hmm. You're you're. Let's see. This Dave says Weinstein trial set it off. The guy was evil. Oh yeah, yeah. he was part of it. Um. Yeah. But geez, think back to the guy in. Uh, well, I think the country really got a good push, punch in the face of it when the back with um, Sandusky with Penn State. That was when it really came forward. He yeah, was, that was he was, ra one. he was raping mm -hmm. little kids all over Penn University, uh, the Penn State University, and he was a big time defensive coordinator for the school. Yeah, I you were saying. Yeah. I was there when Sandusky. He was the defensive coordinator. coordinator yeah. And uh, yeah. He was bringing them right into the school and raping them inside the, the locker room. He was a one of the quarterbacks actually would, actually oh heard God. it and did nothing. Joe Paterno. Then, then Joe Paterno, yeah, the big ball himself knew it and did nothing. And then he finally did come forward in the court. Yeah, he yeah. did the 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 kid the, the quarterback guy, not Paterno. He died and he got lucky or else he went to prison. You know these people who know like ignore it, they need to go to jail. Yeah. yeah. So they need to go to jail. Yeah. You know about this type of stuff. If you know, especially like the people like with Nick D'Angelo, they know when they see what's going on, they're ignoring it. You know that shit's going on. You're not trying to help or say anything to stop it. I, I don't care how harsh it sounds. You you deserve something because you know that this person's hurting somebody and you're just, oh, not my business. No, it's going to be your business when it's your kid. Don't think it ain't going to be your kid because he don't it give is. a shit about you or what you're going to do because you're not going to do nothing and he's going to go after your kid. Yeah. He'll go after your and he'll kid. get away with it. And guess what, too? And this is sad, but you just don't know what has happened in your family. You know what yeah, I mean? You just don't. You just don't kid. know. It could be anything. You gotta realize this isn't. A, this isn't. I don't know. It isn't a one thing, man. That's thinking of all the like going back to St. Joseph's mm -hmm. and some of the things that occurred there. Immediately when you told somebody, like on the side, maybe what was in the organ? Oh no, no. But pull back. Yeah. And he, oh no, 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 no. I, oh no, he's a very good man. No, no, that's not true. And all that. Then the father and all that. And then it all starts. Or they like re. Oh, you they. Know, oh yeah. I don't think they're, oh no, no, no. They rally around themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. They or they're just scared, or they don't want to be in, get involved. I can't get involved. Right away. I hate them. Right I can't get oh. Yeah, but there's some people like that. They're not people like you. They won't. They Can, don't you, have imagine? A spine. Can you imagine though, it, it, especially when it comes to you know? All right, I know this guy's stealing. All right, I don't want to get involved. I know this guy's selling drugs. I don't want to get involved. Kids are getting raped. Right. 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 I mean, yeah. Not, yeah. 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 I mean I understand. Okay, you know the guy next door is selling whatever. All right. I, right. It's not, he's not hurting nobody. Yeah, hurting nobody. Okay. Yeah. They're raping people. But now right. yeah, <laughs> you right. just sit there. But they do it. Jerry's right. They just they don't want any part. I don't understand. I don't want to yeah, and then you know they're, they're, they're those people yeah, then, yeah. probably have already gotten hurt, That's the and they thing. see who they have as a parent, a piece of shit. I hate to say it, and they say, well, if they don't want to get involved. Then why would I bother telling them about what happened to me? They're right. simply near their 
there mm -hmm. um, saves. Joyce people. Meyer on TV, the preacher. She went 15 years like that. 15 years with constant. Or their father, the mother wouldn't do anything. The rest of the family wouldn't do anything. Told her to shut up. That's not true. And well, beat her down. Yeah, I beat her down until finally she stood up. She became who she is now. Was, you know, global. She's yeah. a global. She I, talks about that kind of story. I told my sister when I was 12 and she was 22, and she told me I was disgusted. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. She got the same treatment. Yeah. She yeah. says, I had a choice. Either I'm going to go down or I'm going to, you know. She goes, thank God I had, I was already a uh, reborn again Christian. She says, that's what pulled me out of it. And yeah, now, some people can be pulled No, no, like no, that. no. I'm just telling you her. I'm just saying, uh, but people, the protection that they are, the, they just repel. They come, they move and they're back. not to care because the women or the, the girl or even the, the boy, how many of them killed themselves? How yeah. many of them committed right. suicide, suicide because of this? Or how many, but the incredible trail of stuff that had, well, we see it. Yeah. You know, the trail of things that happen at, because of that event. Man, you, did, you, you don't care. You hear about some know. young girl or something, and they found her, I know, a student. They found her hung. <laughs> nobody, oh, nobody knows. I kept going, no way. What do you mean you don't know? Right. Oh, she was depressed. Why was she depressed? Why? Right. right. Okay. She, people just like, well, well some her. people just get depressed. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But to go hang yourself, yeah. that's pretty severe. At some point, she try, She probably tries to something. Yeah. At some point. she. How much damage does it do when you tell somebody and they tell you? Oh, it just reinforces what you already think. That yeah. it's your fault. That right. You know that yeah, you don't want to go tell anybody, or that or that you or that what happened wasn't wrong, right? You know, yeah, they, so you wouldn't know. What yeah, oh, he was only fooling around. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine what the? I am the other one thing out there before I move to something else. I want to ask you is though, and we go on, but I mean, like, if you're out there and you have uh, kids, I hate to say this, but there's a good chance. Yeah, something might have already happened with someone you don't even know. So just you got to be awake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's too many people I go around, and you you were there with me. If I'm in a room with 12 people, and I'm the only one who hasn't been abused, that's insane. Yeah, 11 out of 12, including, other including guys. guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what does that tell you? You're walking around. There's a lot of people that were affected this way. How did you get through the 70s, 80s? I mean, that had yeah. to be just a free-for-all. Oh, yeah. There was nothing. I, I mean, being in high school, I don't remember. I mean, I knew rumors. That's all it was, was a rumor. What could you do? There was nobody coming out and saying this is a fact. This is a fact. But we knew the names that we talk about. Right. Hitting them, hitting up on them, hitting up on them, hitting up on them. But that was just talk in the hallway. We never got anything. There was no paper, nothing in the papers or anything. Right. Yeah. No, it, it just, it would be, I always think that like with crime, just crime in general, the 70s, 80s, and 90s, oh, I guess God. before OJ even with DNA stuff had to be just, you just had to be I a free for all. stories from my neighbor telling me she was, when she was younger, what happened to her. And she was screaming, running, trying to tell somebody that somebody did something to her in the parking lot. And they just didn't, oh, well, nothing we can do about it. Right. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I, I always wonder how the women or the young girls then, or even boy, whatever, handled it. Because it, if it's bad now, it had to be incredible then. Because oh, yeah. there was none of these. We were right. no one. No one was speaking out. No one was doing anything. Right. So uh, wow, what a. So I wanted to ask you. I think you said this earlier. Brittany, no lawsuit. Oh yeah. Her, right. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Brittany D'Angelo was supposed to sue me or do something with the legal team, and she still has yet to file anything with the courts against me. So Brittany D'Angelo, I am waiting. I am hoping that you or your brother get the balls one day to actually go to court with me. Yeah, they don't want Just to. do it already. Stop pushing it up. Don't be like your brother. Do a little dance if you have to. <laughs> I don't care if you want to announce the lawsuit on TikTok by dancing. That'd go be ahead awesome. And do it. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Instead of oh, we'll sending me a letter, dance it. for me. I would love <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that. But still nothing. So big, tough, Brittany. Still nothing. Dave, uh, you're right. He's talking about how predators get protection because the clock. Yeah. That, that's statute of limitations. Yeah. And all the while, the victim receives a life sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Completely yeah. a life sentence that they have to deal with trying yeah, to overcome I, it. I hate when people, too, are like, oh, stop talking about it. Just think of something different. Just <laughs> think of something different. <laughs> let, me, let me just stop and let me just, you know, totally get that off my mind. Yeah. That 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll put that one on the because show. even a lot of because guess what? Yeah. Even after you get to the end, like mm -hmm. you did with one situation, or hopefully with this guy, Nick is gonna go to prison. It's still not done. Right. It doesn't mean it's over. Then we just and he went to me, for like life. My first situation, he admitted it, but he didn't get on a registry or anything. So I mean, really, it didn't. It He's, didn't do what I wanted it to do. It didn't right. stop anyone else from being victimized. So like he admits it and nobody even get on. Yeah, and you have like he admitted to doing that to a child. And you have two yeah. lawyers that heard it because mm -hmm. it was just yeah. his wife from But they admitted all the me. But wait a minute. They, <laughs> they they he did, yes. Yeah. Oh my they, god. They, <laughs> they but these people are admitting it all the time in civil court. Yeah. All the time they're saying it. And they just walk away like and, and while that was happening, there was still an open police report. And he admitted it, and before they closed the report, but you can't just cross the two. Yeah, Wait, yeah. think about that rule. Right? Why? Right? Why should there be rules well, like the? Okay, so the, like, why aren't they doing that with murders and stuff too? Like, okay, I did it, but <laughs> like, I know. Watch I, it. I, be yeah. careful what you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I don't know. I don't get it. But you're right, Dave. That's exactly what they do, and they know it. They know what they're doing. Yeah, with sure. that stuff. Um, so Brittany, she's not doing she's anything. So dumb, bitch. Yeah, she's not doing anything. Yeah, she's she's so a good idea not she's to. She's still private on Twitter and everything, too. So she lost over like a thousand followers in one day. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's was she always private on Twitter or did she go no, to private? She went to private. That's good. Yeah. That's actually really good to get, make her go private. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It takes her right out of the picture yeah. when you think about it, at least on that platform. She, all she had to do was come out and admit, you know, about she the brother. She should apologize. Say, yeah, that's all come she had to do. Come out and apologize. I did, I, what I did was if wrong. she thinks just hiding is going to make it go away, it's not. If she thinks Look, saying that she has autism is going to make it go away, it's not. Well, she's playing like a brother. Let's just lay low and be quiet. And, you know, be a mean? dumb ass behind the scenes. Yeah. And, you know, you yeah. know, take another account to do it fake. And then everybody will leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, we put that You're right, yeah. Tone. She is. Thank God we don't have to see any of her dumb videos. Well, <laughs> yeah, so obnoxious. I wonder what Niagara, Niagara let her. I wonder if Niagara University. I should show up to that. Point. I wonder if they that already they happened, right? Again. Yeah, it already happened. Also I'm sure it. they did. We'll have to look on the Niagara University, um, maybe their Facebook page. I yeah. bet you will have. They, I'm sure they would. Oh yeah, I know though that she was supposed to drop a hockey puck for a game, and they contacted me about it, and they said if it's really that bad, I don't want her doing that. Oh, we're good. So and I talked to them about it. So I don't know if she dropped a puck or not, but. So, yeah. Why did they have? We're in trouble. Yeah. If that's, if that's our people to drop the puck. Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. Yeah. You guys will get grimace from McDonald's to drop a puck. It was like the Sabres, right? No. no. Oh, they don't know. They, they don't, they don't they don't know. Know. Ninety percent of those people have no but idea. But yeah, like, how do they select? Yeah. Why? Well, they well, they they well, even well, just what she's done. Probably had her brother contact them and say, "My sister's on big." Did she do the worm all the way out? She must like she did on. I hope she did. I mean, and besides, she's on the floor in a dirty airport. Oh, that's in the game. She's crying, saying, "Oh, people will be lost because they're trying to get her to go home." That's the point of the game, you dumbass. Why would people want to let you win the game when they're all competing to win the game too? So everyone was picking on her because she's Brittany is used to getting her way, and you know, yes. no poor Brittany, she must have, she might have autism, so we're gonna let her do this when she doesn't want to. The family her. sounds a little bit to get a little bit of shrub ball disease. Yeah, they have disease. to be successful. They have to. If not, their world falls apart. They can't stand. She started crying and bawling over yeah, the game crying show, and then, then right? she blames it on. And I hate to say, but I, I was told by some. I was even told by a doctor. I was told by a doctor. There's no signs of autism. Just saying. I was told by a doctor who does it for a living, who diagnoses autism for a living. No sign of any type of autism whatsoever. She's very, be, very well off for having autism. How could you be a kindergarten teacher and have autism? She's like, oh, right. it's high functioning autism. No, you got, you're just. No, it's low functioning stupidity. Yeah, it's just, you know what, what it is? is. It's, a, it's, it's being an obnoxious, spoiled brat. Yeah. Is what it is. Obnoxious, spoiled brat. She's just full of shit. That's we know the whole family's full of shit. We know a lot of people that don't take responsibility for their actions, and um, they don't. They just don't. So they never have to. You no. know what I mean? They never have to say they're sorry. They never have to no. admit they did anything wrong. They no. never have to do anything because why? Right. Why would they? They never would have to. They're never made to. They would never have to do it. So they just don't. And there's a bunch of them. Yeah. There's so many yeah. around here, and um, they're they're one of them, right? They're yeah. they're privileged. Well. 
that's like I said about when my brother was running for assembly and he got out of Niagara County and they could care less. He yeah. wasn't used to that. You know, no one cares about who you are, who your father was, who your mother was. No one yeah. cares. That's what makes me laugh about her being trying to go nationwide for yeah. herself. Yeah. Because those people don't care no. what her last name. Do you think anyone cares about her last right. name I anywhere? Just believe she and I actually, agree. Tony just made a great point. I agree, Tony. Absolutely. It's a disgrace for her to claim autism for people who really Yeah, exactly. It's right. a slap in the face. Right. I know a lot of people who have autism and a lot of people who are affected by that. And I, yeah, that's yep. just a slap in the face. And yep. to know the people who supposedly diagnosed you too, like at the stuff. Mm -hmm. And just to collect money, supposedly. I'm just saying I gotta, that's what I was told. I gotta bring this up real quick before I forget it. Um a little GoFundMe for it's the same guy we did a GoFundMe for, Ryan Chu. Oh okay. his son died, and oh. now his business burned down. And it was uh, done on purpose, I guess. It was a it was an arson. And uh, there's a GoFundMe. Um oh I'm gonna i I'll put the link on uh I already did last night actually. It's on Citizens actually. United. Mm -hmm. It's on Citizens United. So um you guys see it, share it. Yeah. If you don't yeah. have money, you know, just share it along. If you get, got a couple bucks, throw two dollars in. If you don't, throw share it. Share it. Sharing is so important. Like if you yeah. can't donate anything, just share. I can't even say yeah. this enough how important hitting a share button is. You might not think it does a lot, but it does a lot. Yep. It reaches yeah. to people who can do something. Yeah, that's all you get. that's the best thing to do. People and want to do something. Right. Yeah. And we all have different followers. So right. you know what you know, if I share something, it might not get to some th someone that if Gail shared it, they would right. get to. So the more people that share it, the more people you're getting it out there to. Yeah. And then Gianna, let's not forget her, so Daniel from yeah. last, last week's show, I am not a body.org. And then from there, you can find her GoFundMe and read her whole story first. Incredible. And just, yep. And then uh, throw me, or again, just share that. Yeah, just even. Share it. Um, She's trying to do something at 18 years old that some people never do in their entire life after yeah. being victimized like she was. So, yep. um, let's see what Dave has here before we really wrap this up. John, I truly believe school districts do not want to educate people about this stuff because they are scared about lawsuits, and that's sad. Well, look who works Very for true. our school districts. Yes. We have uh, Nick D'Angelo's mother and Nick D'Angelo's uncle, Andy Tuma. He works for the school district now. We have that, that's what we have working in our school districts around here. Mm -hmm. And Brittany. And Brittany and D'Angelo. Brittany. We have the D'Angelo. And, and the person that I said called me disgusting is a teacher. Oh, there we go. So, and people, and a lot of these people who have lawsuits against them right now for rape are teachers. Right. Yeah. Or Dave. Dad, I know you don't have one, but the same. Right. And he's the one of the good ones. Yes. That's, we're lucky that you're here. Very <laughs> we're very happy to have you in your own home. In your own home. <laughs> Dave, you're right. And Dave, you're right. They won't let us in. There's no way in hell they're going to let us in to tell what we're saying. Yeah, they don't want us not, not a chance. No. Because you'll open up a... this. That's what the Child Victims Act did. It opened up a can of worms that they never wanted to open. Right. And uh, that was the best thing that Governor Cuomo ever did was allowing yeah. that to yeah. go through at least. If the Assembly and Senate had any guts or any or any uh, courage, they would have kept it going. But they did not. How could you cancel that? Yeah. You're so was, right, yeah. Tony. But oh she said you have to consider the source on that one. Yeah. I love Tony. Yeah. But you know though Good job, Tony. How do you cancel that and just say I, we don't have an appetite for it no more? All right. All right. What is that? It's insane. We don't have an appetite. We and a lawyer that is a good Told somebody we considered a good lawyer was said, happy that it was done. I'm so happy it's over with. The courts are just so backed up because of it. Like what is wrong with people that your convenience is worth more than people than victims' ability to pursue some kind of justice? Wow. Yeah. And then that's what they want the school for to the job for too, is to do it. Disgusting. You know? Yep. Can't stand it. Um I guess what we should probably do now. It's a big problem, man. Oh, by the way, check out YouTube, the Friends Media Network. You can see Robin's shows. You can see this show. All of them are there from way in the past, too, when we first started. You can see the, like, all, everything, all of them. Um, the sports show is there, and so is the wrestling show is on there, too. Um, oh, I got to make an announcement, and it's my fault, and I apologize. Robin Live will not be on oh. tomorrow. I have to go to the doctors in Lambsville. So we'll never make it back in time. And the following week. Well, the following week, we, we do, yeah, but maybe, yeah. maybe we're going to try and see what we can do on that one. 
You know, maybe I'll do it live with the kids. Oh, yeah. Right? Not, right? <laughs> We're going to do something. But this week is not happening. And I, it's my fault. Sure. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's my fault. Um, Why don't we talk? YWCA. YWCA. Why couldn't I say it? 716 433 6714. That's here in Niagara County. They're everywhere in your county, wherever you live in the United States. Robin, they were good to you. They were great counselors, advocates. The counselor counseled you right from the couch. Yep. You know, it was they, amazing. The advocate, this is something I don't know if I've ever mentioned before, but the advocate actually set everything up with making the police report. Like I didn't have to make an appointment with the, like the advocate knew the detective. She set everything up. The detective actually was amazing. Unfortunately, she's she the one that just away, passed yeah. away. Oh. Um, but it was the, it was the DA that dropped the ball. Yeah, it wasn't the police. No, that, that woman was, did a great job. That police was sad she passed away. Yeah, the Detective Zell. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. She was yeah. good. She was good. She was so good to drop in that She day. was very yeah. good. Um, so the YWCA, and yeah. if you are the loved one of someone, like we say all the time, go give them a call if you're not understanding the mindset they have, and you'll get it. You, It doesn't take long. If you care, you'll understand. That's the only way I put it. If yeah. you care, it shouldn't be hard. Um, I'm gonna let you talk about this one. It's 888-373-7888. If you think you might know somebody who is being trafficked or you see somebody on the street, uh, just let me say this, not everybody's a willing prostitute. If you see something like sure. that on the street, call this number because they'll look into it. The, even if you're not 100% right on it, they'll still just look into it. It's anonymous. Um, it's happening. Tra human trafficking, child trafficking, it's happening all in our city, all in our state, all everywhere. It's the Biggest money making business there is. And growing. And, and growing. And remember that kids can't be prostitutes. Right. So if you see a, a right. somebody young. that appears to be young right. or you know, a child that is that you see suspicious activity, they're not willingly participating. Right. Like what Nick D'Angelo did, that was child sex trafficking. Right. That, you know, there's no such thing as a child prostitute. So if somebody's buying a child or sleeping with a child, call a number. Scott, yeah, please. Thank you for that. The wrestling show he said is always amazing. Thank you, Scott. They put a lot of effort into that. This, they do. They this do. week is another good uh, guest, and I can't remember. But I'll be hosting <laughs> that because uh, Charlie's off. It'll be just me and Chris DiCarlo. The week before, Johnny Rods was unbelievable. That guy was great. Um, let's see what Dave says before we go. I want you – asked in high school, my mother used to ask me many questions about certain things that I – didn't understand why she was asking, but now I know why she was asking those questions. I went to Catholic school. Oh, mm. yeah, I get it. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's so much that I that I've seen, and yeah, God, you as a kid, think, you would think uh, too with Niagara Catholic going down after they spent all that money and got all that new building and everything, all due to sexual assault and rape by priests. In the Buffalo Diocese, they have mm -hmm. to pay all these bills, and that's why it shut down. I mean, what else yeah. could it possibly right. be? Right. They had 42 priests in Buffalo alone. Probably more. That 42 is when they put Samuel Vinay. He was the two, 42nd. Wait, and you and know what? Was, people should be outraged, too. If you live in the city of Niagara Falls and your kids attend city of Niagara Falls schools, get ready for the school district to pay out a whole lot of money mm -hmm. to a whole bunch of people. And that's taking services away from your kids. Yeah. So if you think it's not your business, yeah, right. Right. make it your business. Cause it is somehow or another. Right. If it's not your business, make it your business. Yeah. And I'm going to hope these people, yeah, who's being sued and, and mm -hmm. I hope these people in Niagara Falls school district make, don't drag this out and hurt the people again. Right. These victims don't deserve this. They right. have to continue and go on and on and on and on and have to do depositions and all this other garbage. Just stop it. Yeah. And just do something right for once, would you please? Yeah. Um, we should probably go. Yeah. It's time. Um, we will be back though next week, of course. Yes. And always keep an eye on Noel's stuff because there's always there's always good yeah. stuff and there's always you know, your yes. information on those people. Do me a favor, you guys, to so report the Niagara Action page. Yes. Go on the Niagara Action page and report it. Report it for anything and everything. That's a good, yeah, absolutely report yeah. it, please. And if you're on Twitter, block it. Yeah. Do, a, do it all. Yeah. Just, we if we shut them down, a lot of things will, will probably change. Um, good night to Tony. Good, good night, night to Jerry. Good night, night to everyone out night there that watched us. I Thank appreciate you. it. And um, we'll be back next
I always, I, you know, I always want to sit back next week, but I never get my stuff. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. It's fidgeting all over because this is ridiculous. Yeah. When you think about how we do this. Yeah, but I mean, it's crazy how you do it so long. Oh. oh God, yeah, I don't know. I am a mess. But once again, no Robin live. My fault. See you guys next week. Take care. Thank you.